Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with the most debatable uh, problem of recent time. Yes, it is J Advanced Paper 2, question number 1 of optics. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. A large square contains with thin transparent vertical walls and filled with water refractive index 4 by 3 is kept on a horizontal table. A student hold, holds a thin straight wire vertically inside the water 20 12 centimeter from one of its corners as shown looking at the wire from its uh, corner another student sees two images of the wire located symmetrically on each side of the line of sight as shown the separation in centimeter between these two images is so this question it has been like most debatable question of uh, uh, last uh, two days and uh, it's because something uh, really strange has happened in this problem so i'm going to discuss three different approaches uh, for this problem one is the accurate method or uh, the correct way of solving it but the calculations are terrible in that and uh, it's very unlikely that uh, the paper setters or the authors they have uh, thought in uh, those directions even though this is the correct way of solving this problem and uh, another method is i'll be discussing with some approximations how exactly we can uh, get some answer and uh, third method is most likely what will be the uh, what will be in the mind of the professors when they frame this question so i'm going to discuss all these three approaches in this uh, video so first one let's uh, talk about the most accurate uh, method so idea here is actually this uh, such type of problems are asked for near normal cases but in this case such type of uh, light rays will never reach to this uh, observer who is uh, present on this line of sight so that creates a trouble here so method one, so what happens when uh, observer is not at the near normal situations, not here, and it is uh, at some angle uh, theta from the normal of the surface. So suppose observer is along this line. So what exactly he is going to see about this object? So we are going to take uh, two adjacent lines here. Uh, we are going to take these two adjacent lines and after refraction these lines will uh, go in different directions if we extend this then this image forms somewhere here that means compared to standard case of normal incidence where only this apparent depth changes uh, this image shifts along the surface as well so let's say some distance x it is uh, shifting and this is apparent depth h normally it is uh, l by mu so here when we do the calculations you can uh, uh, see this calculations are actually tough and we are going to get this h as mu square l cos cube theta divided by mu square minus sin square theta to the power 3 by 2 similarly this x value i can write the shift along the surface that is mu square minus 1 l cos cube theta divided by mu square minus sin square theta to the power 3 by 2 so it's a problem of uh, Irudov I have taken that as a reference so once you know this uh, exact location of this image X and H so easily we can find out uh, this distance we can find out using geometry and similarly other side also I'll be getting the similar image so this distance calculation can be done but if you see mu value is given 4 by 3 L is given 12 and uh, this theta is uh, at 45 degree i'll tell you why i'm saying theta is at 45 degree so you can see these expressions are going to be very tough to calculate so it's very unlikely that jay would have thought in these lines uh, though this is the right way of solving this question so here what i'm doing is i'm just rotating this uh, the diagram given in the problem and trying to compare with this result so here this is the situation is a previous diagram so when i rotate uh, this square or you can say this uh, prism kind of thing vertically this is the top view so if i place it this will behave like my medium interface 
this will behave like my medium interface and observer is placed at, at this location that means observer is placed for this particular surface it is placed at 45 degree angle he is placed at 45 degree angle so l l will become in that case 6 root 2 that is 12 root 2 here we have to find this height all right theta becomes 45 degree and mu becomes 4 by 3 here so we need to substitute these values in this formula in order to get uh, this vertical height and this horizontal shift of the image so it's very unlikely that they would have followed this uh, method method two and i'm using some approximations so what i'm doing here is i'm taking at some angle when i'm giving these uh, uh, two adjacent lights i'm taking and considering their refraction when i extend this line somewhere this uh, lines are going to meet that will be the point where image forms so what I'm trying to do here is somewhat similar to the prism case where we use such type of uh, logics. So if this light ray is going and finally after refraction it is going here. If I extend this line. So we take image slightly above this. And since these angles, the angles which I'm dealing with are very uh, small angles, um, I can take this approximation. So I'll just uh, tell you why I have taken this. So if you see clearly here, when I apply Snell's law, 4 by 3 sine alpha, 1 sine 45. So sine, 40, uh, sine alpha comes as 3 by 4 root 2. And if you check carefully, this number, it is close to 6 point... Uh, 5.65 so roughly it is close to uh, you can say 30 degree this is roughly close to it, it's slightly more than 30 degree actually because sine 30 is 1 by 2 and th this is slightly more than that so alpha will be roughly you can say somewhere close to 30 to 35 36 in those ranges so i'm taking here oi distance this distance i have to find out and other side i can say by symmetry because in, since angle is very very small this angle is of the order of uh, you can say 10 12 degrees so i can approximate this uh, to oi is equal to oi1 and this will become my distance between the images see this is my approximation it it can go completely wrong but there is definitely some learning about this problem where uh, we can see if such type of question comes in exam and J doesn't delete it. It will set a trend for us to give better response uh, in such questions in future. So OI actually I can write as 2L sine theta by 2 where theta is 45 minus alpha by 2. And this here I can drop this uh, perpendicular. This is nothing but... Uh, 2L sine 45 minus alpha by 2 when you simplify this and uh, you know all these values here so this OI comes as uh, roughly 2.5 uh, one kind of uh, value approximately I can write this uh, II1 will be double of this so it, it answer comes very close to 5 similarly in order to you can skip this part and you can uh, do the objective approach also because this becomes slightly lengthy to convert because sine alpha is known to you so cos alpha sine alpha by 2 are also known to us so it was lengthy however i am also getting similar answer if i do the approximation since from here i can say this angle is alpha is definitely greater than uh, 30 degree so I can take a value of uh, maybe 33, 34 degrees in that order. So I am taking 34 degree, 33 degree here. So that angle comes as roughly 12 degrees. So OI, I can write if this angle is theta, then uh, this is 2L sin theta by 2. And uh, if it is uh, six, uh, 12 degrees or 15 degrees also, by 2 values will come roughly, uh, you can say it will be six seven degrees so it's a very small angle sine theta i can write as uh, theta and if i simplify i'll be getting it as l theta when i substitute the value here i i1 on simplification i'm getting answer as a 5.024 so 
both are uh, giving almost uh, same type of answer so you can uh, see either you can use this or use this so both phase this is this is my approach and uh, uh, it may be possible while approximating while uh, taking these assumptions i may go completely wrong so let's see how jay will uh, respond to it and uh, let's discuss the th third approach also third method uh, this is most likely what j people have thought and uh, that's where it has gone wrong so method three is assuming near normal case for the surface though it is totally wrong assumption i have described these uh, reasons above so I'll, I'll say this length is x naught which is six root two we have derived and uh, then i can say for this observer he will find image somewhere here on the same line and that is nothing but x by mu x naught by mu when i simplify this i'll be getting this distance x1 from the surface as 9 by root 2 now here this y i can write as 6 root 2 minus 9 by root 2 which terms as uh, 3 by root 2 then 3 by uh, root 2 cos 45 this uh, distance becomes 3 by 2 similarly other side also it will be at 3 by 2 and total uh, distance between i1 i2 becomes 3 in that situation which comes as a perfect integer so i think this was the thought process behind framing this question and uh, which has gone totally wrong and uh, let's see how jay will respond so my remark about this problem is uh, either answer maybe 3 or uh, can be 5 or it can be a bonus bonus mark question also in various coaching some people uh, have predicted the answer as a 2 or 8 also so it's a very debatable question and uh, we will see what uh, responses J people are going to take uh, about this problem nevertheless this question has a lot of learning lot of experience it is going to give us so we must uh, cherish such type of problems and the entire paper too is uh, in that league only and uh, you know I'm in a way I'm very happy that uh, Jai has come with such challenging papers so that's it for the video and uh, if you have enjoyed this video please uh, leave a like share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you